Hey there, welcome back to Dakota News Now. It's now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors and joining me as always is Doug Schroeder from Lewis. And Doug, we talk about containers, lots of plants and containers, but this time we're talking about a couple of different ones, right? We are, we are. It's thrillers, fillers and spillers with a twist. Uh, well, today we're gonna to talk about using perennials and shrubs in containers. But before we go into some of the examples, I just wanna review a little bit about thrillers, fillers and spillers. So first we're gonna talk about like say dirt, right? Don't skip well, out on the dirt. The dirt is the foundation. And then from there, you pick out the star, which is the thriller. That's the focal point of the container. Then you pick out plants that will fill in around. And then the spiller is the items that go over the edge to soften the edge of the container. So whenever we're talking about perennials and shrubs, are we talking about mainly thrillers, mainly fillers? What are we looking at? Both. Both, actually. I've done some examples here today. Uh, the first example we have here is coneflower. And that's used as the thriller. And then we use coreopsis as a filler and then use various annuals around it is, uh, to complete the container, which makes a nice set uh, for this container. Uh, another example down front here, we use corabels and hosta as a framework for a shade container and then filled in with annuals. And then what do you have over here? Yeah, yeah pin, uh, <clears throat> pin cushion and dianthus are the uh, perennials in that container and then filled in with annuals. So uh, when you're shopping to fill your container, sometimes just go through the perennial area. You'll find some stunning color and some things to add that really complete a, complete a container. And so, since we're using perennials and shrubs, is there anything that we need to know at the end of the season, anything different to do? If you use it in a container, it's not considered a perennial. It won't come back, so there is no warranty on it. But the value of picking out a perennial, there's, uh, you can get a nice perennial for under $20, and that fills out most of your container. So it is a very economical way to shop. So we're not looking at any sort of skill level here, novice, middle, expert, like anybody can get away with doing this, right? Yes, anybody can get away. The biggest uh, thing that I can tell you is to always pick out like items. They should all go in the shade, maybe need about the same amount of water so that they are good companions in one container. Right, you don't want something that needs shade and something that needs sun and then you're just kind right. of, yeah. Right, they won't, it won't like where you're putting it. So uh, take uh, into, consideration the environment you're putting your plants. All right, Doug, any other tips for when we're using perennials and shrubs? No, um, I always encourage everybody to experiment, try some new things. Uh, just something that adds color and intrigue is always good. And there's no wrong way to do it. There is no wrong way. All right, Doug, thank you so much. We're going to have more on this on dakotanewsnow.com coming up after the show. And you can always watch previous episodes of Owning Your Outdoors anytime. You just download the Dakota News Now app on any of these streaming platforms. Stick around, we'll have more for you after the break.